Welcome back. In this tutorial I want to talk about Blender and creating different workspaces in Blender. Now Blender comes shipped with several uh, different workspaces and we get to it by coming up here and we see that someone has configured the workspace for animation, has the timeline and stuff, compositing, there's the default and then I have created one called render so that when I'm working in Blender and I want to render and play with my camera this is how I have it set up for rendering okay so to create a workspace first thing we need to do is come up here and we're going to add a new workspace and we'll just call this tutorial one <clears throat> alright and how we I'm gonna just kinda of work off of this one that was made see if I can't figure it out so we when we want to eliminate a screen and it's probably not going to work for me now we just click right up here in this little triangle and we drag one way or the other and you'll see that black arrow telling us that we're going to drag that screen back over to the other and we can size these screens how we want to all right. And we can drag each individual frame and make it a little different here. So whenever we want to eliminate one, we drag it back onto the other. Whenever we want to create one, we click down here. I'll do it up here. We click right here on this little triangle. And we just click and drag and that makes a new frame alright so you have the frame you have the window split now we need to come down here and tell blender what we want to have in that window and I'll just say 3d view so there's my 3d view now over here we can have something different or we can split it once again so if we drag um, top to bottom left to right top to bottom we can split the screen up however we need to and once we have that split then we go ahead and populate it with a window or information that we want to store into that window so we can have a timeline there okay and it's, it is confusing. You never know which way to drag these, you, and then you end up dragging more than what you need. So if you drag and it creates one, then you went the wrong way. <laughs> so we're just going to click there, and we're going to drag, and you'll see that arrow pop up telling you that you have, you're about to delete that. Sometimes it, when you pull, it doesn't work. So you're going to pull to the left to create, pull the opposite direction to delete. And then when you want to populate, you click down here on this little icon. All right. Now if we want to um, if we want to open this window, and have it a free floating window, undock it, that's what I was trying to think of. If we want to undock the window, we just shift click up there. <clears throat> and that will undock our window. And if we want to resize it, it's just like Photoshop, we're going to click down here and resize it. Okay.
All right, so then once we, I forgot to talk about this, so once we have our window or our workspace defined um, and we wanted to create a new, another one, we'll just come up here and add it first. We're going to hit the plus sign, add a new screen, and we'll call this uh, tutorial. main. We'll name it first and then we'll create our workspace. Alright, I think that's it on creating workspaces, kind of the basics of it. And anytime we want to get back to our default, we're back to our default and we can switch between the different workspaces that we developed. All right, I think that's it. I thank you for watching and I thank you for all of your comments and I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial. Thanks.